Teapot Reads. I'm the Teapot. This is what I'm currently reading and I'm so happy to see you today. Once again, we are here for another reading vlog. It is June 3rd. Oh my goodness, this year is just flying by. If I, like This time last year, I think I was like rereading the Throne of Glass series because I couldn't leave the house, you know, and, and this year it's June and I can actually go out and do things. And I'm really excited because hopefully I will be going out and doing some things over the course of this vlog. Last, uh, last vlog was not super, int like, I don't want to say not interesting because I don't think that's true. It just wasn't very active. I wasn't doing a lot. I didn't do a lot of reading. I didn't have a lot of updates. I'm hoping that it'll be a little better this time. Mental health wise, yesterday was really bad, but it can only go up from there kind of situation. And I'm hoping that the next several days are better. I will be um, being very careful with my mental health, if that makes sense, but you want to know what I'm currently reading and I am currently reading One Last Stop by Casey McQuistion. I actually got an early copy of this book and was hoping I would have finished it before the book released which was on the first so just two days ago. I have not finished it. I kept getting distracted. I have like 50 pages left. I think no I'm not gonna finish it today but I think that I can finish it tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow and I really wanna be done with it tomorrow. Also really excited for my next read, which is going to be Northanger Abbey. I did finally finish my Prime Prejudice reread, so if you've been following along for a while, that is finally over and it was just as good the second time around, if not better. I loved it so much. But yes, I, I'm really, really hoping to finish One Last Stop very soon. I, I'm i really enjoying it. It is, so this is Casey McQuistion's sophomore novel. Uh, they are pretty well known for the first book which was Red, White, and Royal Blue. I will, I can easily say One Last Stop is so much better. It is another romance but it's got a sort of speculative fiction aspect to it in that there is a little bit of time travel involved. Uh, basically August is 24, 25. She's just moved to New York City. She is a loner. She doesn't need anyone. She's never really had anyone except her mother. And then she's on the subway one day and she meets Jane and she like uh, instantly attracted to her. 
like I'm not gonna say like she falls in love, but she's like instantly attracted to her, really likes her, and as 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 we learn, Jane is actually stuck on the subway train and is misplaced in time. She is actually from the 70s and she's been stuck on this train and is not sure what's going on, doesn't really remember anything of her past. So August is on a quest to help her. It's really good. It's really, really good, really cute. I'm really enjoying it. I am technically reading other things. I am still reading the Book of the Delights, which I haven't picked up in days, so I'm just not really gonna go into it. And the same with Children of Blood and Bone. I was listening to it on audiobook. I just haven't picked that up in like a month. I don't know what's wrong with me. I need to just force myself to sit down and maybe do like one chapter a day or something like that. Yeah, that's it for like reading updates. Really hope to finish that. Other, other updates. Um, I mean, Mental Health Tank is doing good. I will put tons of footage of him in because I adore him, as should you. <laughs> I'm planning to go to the Arboretum on Sunday. So I want to talk to the friend I'm going with and make sure she is okay with being on camera. Um, so you might see part of that if, if she is. If she's not, I'm just not going to record anything. I might record some tree footage, but it's not going to be like vloggy. Uh, there, there's so little going on. I work today. I work the closing shift. A book that I did order came in. It's a really cool book. It's called Biblio Style. Um, I will definitely show it when I when I get it. Um, probably tomorrow I'll show it because it's really cool and I hopefully it will influence and help create some ideas of what I can do with my space because it's uh, bookish. Um, you'll see. You'll see. I, that didn't make a lot of sense, but you'll see when I when I show it. Um, I'm working today. Um, Tonight, I want to, when I get home, after I shower, I want to unwind by playing some video games. I've been playing Nino Kuni. I am really bad at it, but I'm gonna, how, how I'm bad at it, I don't know. I'm gonna give it another whack tonight and hopefully just like play that. There's a new Red Letter Media, Best of the Worst. So I think I'll play that while listening to Red Letter Media because the zone. I think that's really it for updates. It is a new month. I feel great that it is a new month. It's kind of like a refresh, a restart, and I really needed that. That's that's all, <laughs> it's really all for now. So there will be more, uh, I'll, I'll record B-roll throughout the day, but I probably won't talk to you again until tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>
I don't know, it still feels somewhat messy, so we'll see. This may not help with that, but it's just, it's just stunning. Like, look at the back. Like, look at that. It makes me so pleased. It's, it's, it's a great, it's a great book. But I have some unboxings to do. Um, this I'm really excited for. I'm really excited for both of these things. This is a vinyl. I'm probably going to pronounce the artist's name wrong because even though he is my favorite solo artist, I've never actually looked up how to pronounce his name. Uh, so it's Noah Kahan or Kahan. Um, I say Noah Kahan. Kahan. I don't actually know. Uh, he's my favorite solo artist. It's his music feels and sounds like how my brain sounds. So this is his album, Busy Head. I, he's mentioned he's trying to get Cape Elizabeth, which is an EP on vinyl. I would sell my soul for that, um, but I don't think it's ever happened. Um, I've looked around and it doesn't look like it's happened and I, oh my God, I hope it happens someday, but yeah. I'm excited. I'll probably listen to this tomorrow. One of my absolute favorite albums. Um, and it was definitely a splurge buy. I just felt like it's one of my favorite albums. I should just buy it. But I also... Subscribe to Candy Club. This is a big box. Bigger than I thought it would be. But we recently started carrying some Candy Club products at my work. And I've been considering it for a while. And I just finally caved. Because I always have a sweet tooth. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so cute. Um, <laughs> okay, so I did mostly sours because I don't really like chocolates necessarily. But look at this. This is cute. This is really cute. So I will be trying each of them. We're going to start with lemonade rings. Let me go wash my hands real quick. I have a good feeling about these. Oh, they're kind of stuck together. We're just going to try. I really like that. I thought they were going to be gummy and they're not. And I'm not a big gummy fan. So I'm going to say four out of five stars. So these are Rainbow Nom Pares. Pares. So this is the only chocolate one. It says decadent dark chocolate. Discs dotted with fun and festive sprinkles. I should have started with this. Because it's chocolate and nothing else is. Let's just get a single one. I need some water too. I'm gonna say three out of five stars. The chocolate itself is really good and I like the crunch of the sprinkles. I think there's just too many sprinkles and they kind of dilute the dark chocolate flavor. Watermelon taffy. Um, I really like taffy or I really like saltwater taffy. Is all taffy saltwater taffy? I don't know. I'll probably like this though. I'm a big taffy fan. Yeah, four and a half out of five stars. Actually, we're not going to do half stars. It's candy. Five stars. That was really good. I love taffy. This I'm really curious about. It's sour cherry... Uh, sour cherry cola bottles. And I think it's gummies. It says bright, bubbly cherry cola gummies doused in a fizzy coating of sour sugar. I'm very excited to try it. Alright, I'm going to say three stars. I'm not a big gummy person. But it does taste almost exactly like cherry coke which is amazing and it's kind of sour but it could be more sour watermelon slices plump juicy gummies bursting with bold watermelon flavor let's see not a, like i don't mind gummies they're just not my go-to i like chewy like soft candy is okay um but i really do like hard candy these are big they're kind of melting i'm gonna give this one four stars the sour to gummy ratio, really good on that one. And even though it's a gummy, it's not as gummy as like the cola bottles are. Um, less chew time needed. This one, I'm very excited for this one. I was hoping they would send this. Sour apple laces. Sour apple is one of my favorite flavors. Oh, it's a bit hard to... Oh, goodness. Okay, that one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give it four stars. Flavor is good could be more sour but it's pretty okay sour wise it's just surprisingly hard candy i was not expecting that it to be that hard but that is 
that's my first candy club. I'm very excited um, to be doing this. So it's going to be sent out monthly, which is super exciting. Do I need this much candy monthly? No. Do I want it? Hell yes. I love candy. I can have one more. Sour apple lace. But yeah, I'm going to go take a shower. Um, play some Nino no Kuni, right? Is that what it's called? Um, listen to like Red Letter Meteor or something. Very hard. Hmm.
it's Thursday oh my god <laughs> it's Thursday and I'm doing a reading update so I finished reading one last stop by Casey McQuestion I loved it five stars a review is definitely coming as soon as I have time to sit down write it and film it so I don't know when that'll be but it is definitely coming and then I powered my way through toilet bound Hanako kun uh, volumes one through eight. I only own the physical volumes one through three, five, six, and eight. I read uh, volumes four and seven online. It's so good. Um, it's so good. I adore it. I want to watch the anime now and I'm just like dying. Like I know I could read chapters ahead online, but I'm choosing not to. I'm just like waiting for the volumes to come out. I have pre-ordered those and everything. But now I um, am, have picked up North Hanger Abbey by Jane Austen. I'm very excited about this one. I'm already two chapters in and I'm already really enjoying it. It is such a different, you know, book from everything I've been reading lately. And I'm really excited to dive into it because it's a, I don't know, it's like scratching an itch that I, I just didn't even realize I had. So that's really exciting. Other things going on, not much. Doing a lot of work, prepping for game night with my friends, which I cannot wait for. Um, I've been doing some writing. I don't know, uh, uh, Loki came out, or so episode one did, I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. I think In the Heights comes out tomorrow, so I'm gonna try to watch that this weekend. We'll see. I have a kind of busy weekend even though I'm not working. Yeah, there really hasn't been that much mental health-wise. I'm just doing okay. I'm not doing great, but I'm not doing as bad as I was even a couple days ago, so that's something. And now I'm, I'm sitting outside and I'm going to be doing some reading outside because that is one of my goals. And yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. And Tank is just like staring at me. <laughs> oh, now he's rolling in the, in the grass. It's really hot out, but I'm in the shade. So it's like, okay, it's manageable. We'll see. I'm, my goal is to stay out for like half an hour and read. We'll see if I manage that. I know I literally just told you I was reading North Hanger Abbey. <laughs> But oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I didn't think this would happen. I didn't think- oh my god! Oh my god! <sighs> Look at what just arrived! I'm gonna be late for work and I don't care. Cause look at what just arrived! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my f- oh my god! <sighs> I have a new most treasured possession. And it's a new TV mark, oh my god. <laughs> Look at this big boy. Oh, oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm literally, everything else can wait. Everything else can wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um Oh my oh my god, some of the art is in here. Holy shit. Oh my god <laughs> If I didn't have to go to work Oh my god Oh if mm. Oh my god <laughs> I mm, mm. Oh my god, I will, um, I will, oh my god. This is a very exciting turn of events, and I'm like 10 minutes late. Um, oh, oh, my heart is like racing. I saw the package on my stuff, and I was like, oh, it's for me. And I look, and it's a dress for Macmillan, and I was like, no, no, no. Um, oh my god, I was shaking the entire time I was opening the box, because all the fuck, I have an arc. A vampire of the vampire. Mm. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go.
time for a reading update slash life update because it's been a while since I've talked to you all about anything. <laughs> so first of all, mental health has been not great. I, I mean, that's not super uncommon, I feel like, right? But it hasn't been super great. And a byproduct of it this time has been that I haven't had a lot of motivation or energy to spend reading. I have really only had the energy to lay in my bed and watch either YouTube or television or just sometimes nothing. I was just like laying in bed listening to music and that is very strange for me. I normally have to be engaged visually with something. But reading wise, I am reading Empire the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. It is amazing. It is so good. It is Oh my god, it's just so very good. I am on page 142. So not very far through this chunker, but guys, this book, it's everything I want in fantasy and like then some. I mean, it's like living up to all this hype I've given it. And I absolutely, yeah, I'm loving it. I don't mind that I'm taking my time with it because it's just such a pleasure to read um, for so many reasons. And there will be a full review going up, but it'll be closer to the release date for this book. Obviously the book doesn't come out till September. So we have a bit of waiting to do. But other than that, I haven't actually been reading much. I am really, really going to try to listen to audiobooks again. I was in the middle of Children of Blood and Bone. I was in the middle of it, of the audiobook. And just like, I haven't listened to it in like a month and a half or something. And I'm really going to try to listen to it. I think I'm gonna try to listen to some on the way to work today. My goal is half an hour of it every day, which I think I can manage until I finish it. Because like, it's a good book. But I, I don't know, it's just not keeping my attention for some reason. Also, hold on, I just watched Tank go bathroom. He needs a treat so that he knows he's a good boy. There's a huge fly in here now. You're, it, it's huge. Yeah, gonna try to get back into that. Um, other things. I watched the first episode of Loki. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. One of my favorite characters and also Owen Wilson's in it and I love Owen Wilson. I think he's just a fantastic actor. Honestly, the whole, the whole show is kind of stacked. I watched uh, Tro's most recent video, which is not that recent. It came out like a month ago. I just haven't had, I haven't been keeping up on a lot of people who I normally watch. Um, I've had a hard, like as much as like it's hard for me to read, it's all, and I said all I really have energy for is like watching YouTube and stuff. But even saying that, like the amount of energy I have for YouTube is very low and I keep like re-watching videos rather than actually keeping up on people I subscribe to. Um, I did watch the Bo Burnham special. So that was fun. <laughs> Lots of fun. I've watched a lot of TikTok lately. Other things I've done, really nothing. Really nothing. I haven't even been writing that much. I just, I don't know. Positive side, I guess. This week I'm working a lot, which doesn't sound, sound like a positive, but I'm actually looking forward to it. I think it'll be nice to have just like a week of work and, and whatnot. I also am hopefully going to start working on my other channel again, which I talked about in my last reading vlog. But basically, I have had this YouTube channel with a friend for, um, we started it when we graduated college, and we haven't uploaded to it in a while because I had this video sitting on a hard drive that I couldn't access, and now that I have a new computer, I've been able to access it, but I haven't really had time to work on it, and I think I'm going to have time this week to work on it and finally put it up, and then I'll feel like better uploading on there again because we have a lot of fun on that channel. And I have a lot of ideas that I had like written down, and I'm like, I really want to do these, and they're not book related, so they would fit better on that channel. And I have some long term videos for this channel I really want to work on some video essays, some uh, just like the kind of content I really like watching that I would like to also produce and make. So, you know, stuff like that going on. But that's it for now. I'm actually going to go work on this channel. I have some editing to do for a video that I think I wanted to get up already, but I have had no energy for that sort of thing. So <laughs> let's, let's go. Um, and then I will hopefully be reading some more of Empire of the Vampire today. Probably not until I get to work because I just don't have that much time.
been putting up, putting up, I've been putting off wrapping up this vlog for a very long time because I just haven't read and I was hoping that I could do a final update and be like, I read this much and I'm here now and, and all that, but truthfully I haven't. I haven't really done a lot of reading lately. I have been playing video games, I've been playing Luigi's Mansion 3 and it has been nice. Um, and when I say a lot of video games, I mean I've played about an hour over the course of the last 10 days, so it, it hasn't been that much. I just have had a lot of stress at work, and I have worked a lot, and I haven't had a lot of days off. So yeah, not really much to talk about there. So this is just me quickly wrapping it up and saying... <laughs> That's it for today, hopefully, and I think I end every vlog like this. Hopefully the next one's more interesting. I don't know. I just, I hope you're enjoying them. I hope you're enjoying them. Um, <laughs> there's really nothing. So anyway, just thank you for, for watching. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for stopping by. My next vlog will hopefully contain the rest of my reading of Empire the Vampire and thoughts on that. I'm still really enjoying it. I just, I haven't, I haven't picked it up in like days because I just haven't had time. So that's the thing. But thank you for being here. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you're doing well. If it is cold where you're at, I hope you're staying warm. And if it is warm where you're at, I hope you're staying comfortable. But most of all, I hope you are reading a great book and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.